Tonight in the city of Alice, where they are quenching the thirst for a drought proof water supply, turning brackish water into drinking water by building a reverse osmosis treatment plant. But what exactly is reverse osmosis treatment? And our Michael Gibson answers that for us and has the rest of the details for us in tonight's top story. outside the Alice Water Treatment Facility and under that tent are a number of folks who are excited to help celebrate the groundbreaking for the state's very first public-private partnership that will see a reverse osmosis plant built right here. State Senator Chuy Inahosa was here, as were State Representative J.M. Lozano and 7C CEO Henry Sherabi. 7Cs will build the reverse osmosis treatment plant It'll desalinate and treat that brackish water from the Gulf Coast Aquifer. That's a series of underground water sources that runs from Louisiana to Mexico and largely skirts the city of Corpus Christi. The portion running beneath Alice is called the Jasper Aquifer. Our region has more water than all of the combined uh, lakes and surface water in the state of Texas is what they're telling us. So there's quite a bit of water in the Jasper Aquifer. State lawmakers say that this kind of project could protect all cities from future droughts. Currently, Alice gets its water piped in from Lake Corpus Christi. When you have this kind of partnership where experts in the field of, of water quality come in and build the plant, run the plant, um, there is some seed money that the cities need and the state should be able to provide that in the future. You know, the state will work very hard to provide funding for uh, increasing our water resources. This uh, public-private partnership here in Alice could certainly serve as a model for the rest of the state. City Manager Michael Esparza says the city is spending $12.5 million on the project. Seven Cs is covering the cost of the plant and its maintenance and operation. There's a blueprint on how to do uh, water and wastewater infrastructure in the entire country, especially in Texas. The plant should be built by the middle of next year and producing nearly 3 million gallons of water each and every day to the city. Michael Gibson, 3 News. All right, Michael, thank you. And 